Hi, I'm Dr. Boom, founder and CEO at Live, and we build VR live streaming and audience participation and monetization technology for VR, particularly comic creators and VR game developers. Uh, we're a Vivex company amongst others, um, and we just did our demo day here at uh, County Hall in London. Uh, so we've been um, doing this since early 2016. We launched our app in uh, April 2018, and have since driven about a billion and a half views on social. Uh, our SDK for Unity and Unreal is over 150 games, from your run of the mill indie developer all the way up to your AAA developers like Ubisoft and Harmonix. Um, and we have a largest uh, VR content creator community in the world on Discord, roughly 7,000 members of both game developers and streamers coming together and sharing best practices. Uh, we've been with Vivex now for three months, it's the culmination of the program. It's been really, really helpful. In particular, Dave from HC has been a huge resource for us, both on the fundraising side, but also someone to both share ideas and sort of um, uh, iterate on our ideas with them. With some us outside the organization. Uh, so we're here less for fundraising and more to sort of show off some early tech that we haven't showed off before. Uh, primarily our avatar tech, which will allow you to become any of your favorite avatars inside any of the games you love. Uh, so if you want to be uh, uh, All Might from uh, Boku no Hero Academia, which all you nerds probably know better than most people, uh, then you can be that. And you can be that in, in uh, over 150 games. So uh, our app is free on Steam. Uh, it's called the Live App. Just go on Steam and type it in, and you'll be able to download it. The setup is really easy. If you don't have any additional hardware, like you don't have a green screen, a depth camera, or another additional webcam, then you can use our avatars. You can just download any of the avatars that are on, on the Mountain Saber uh, website, plug them into a folder, and then you're ready to go. In 2016, VR was still really hot. Um, and we were capitalizing on that momentum a little bit. And then we hit what people would call sort of the VR winter, where um, a bunch of big companies have raised a lot of money, um, sort of didn't do too well, um, consolidated or crashed, um, and, and investments sort of died down a little bit. Uh, we've been fortunate because our tech is so visible, um, and it's hit really heavy virality um, across the board, that um, we've been visible even during the tough times in VR, and that's been, been really beneficial to us. I think what we'll see now is with the Oculus Quest coming out and the Vive Focus Plus, we got these untethered six-stop headsets that are really going to drive down the barrier to entry and allow a lot more people to enjoy what we know is real VR, which is six degrees of freedom, full room scale, being able to move in a virtual world, as opposed to the static 360 videos that are both not very compelling to, to watch, but also can cause a lot of motion sickness. Uh, we help people share their experiences and their VR content on the web in a way that's really engaging and in a way that allows people who aren't in VR to really understand what being in VR is like. Um, so that's been really helpful. The other thing that we've seen is we built this tech for ourselves because we're former gamers and live streamers ourselves. Um, and as a result, when, when there's new wave of content coming up, all the creators that are looking for tools and solutions to help them share their content are now finding us and saying, this is exactly the tools that we need to broaden both our content on the web, but also broaden VR in general.